My name's Christina, and I'll be talking about Nelson Mandela's 1994 inauguration speech. This speech uh, was made on May 10th of 1994, and he shared it with his heart rather than his mind. He was sworn in as the first black president of South Africa, and Nelson spent 27 years of his life as a political prisoner of the South African government. While being in prison, he grew strong as hate. After tough times, Mandela proved to not be ashamed of his land, and he continued his hard work and patience for the citizens of South Africa. Nelson Mandela's inaugural address was important and was aided by his background, period in which the speech was given, and the message that he portrayed in that speech. Nelson Mandela moved away from hate and moved many with his words, but his background influenced many of the ideas that he lived by. Nelson Mandela was trained as a lawyer, and he joined the African National Congress in 1994 in order to aid the struggle against the apartheid. During over the 27 years in prison, he became the world's most famous political prisoner. After a long campaign of resistance within South Africa, the political and economic pressure from without, President F.W.D. Clerk ended the government ban on the ANC that freed Mandela in 1990. Now, he assumed the leadership of the ANC at the time, and he worked tirelessly over the next couple of years to negotiate the end of the apartheid and the majority rule, gaining widespread respect and the support in that process. According to History.com, the national elections were held in April 1994, and on May 10th of that year, Nelson Mandela was inaugurated as the first black president of South Africa. Now, it's important from this background, it leads into the speaking occasion. So not only is Mandela's background influential, um, but the speaking occasion is really important because it marks an important time in history. So on May 10, 1994, Nelson Mandela was officially inaugurated as the first democratically elected president of South Africa, chosen by the majority of the nation's citizens. Uh, it was given in Cape Town, South Africa, and it was the first multiracial democratic election in the country's history. It, singled, it signaled the end of the apartheid, and History.com states that during this time, the apartheid, while Nelson Mandela was going to power, is the slogan, the social and political policy of the racial segregations and discrimination enforced by the White National Party of 1948 until Mandela's election. Now, this election was the first ever to be held um, jointly. It was the first democratic election, which means that everyone had a say in it. Mandela's message was important to bring the nation together again after a rough past. Washington State University did post an article stating the importance of the speech, and I'll state some of the quotes that it had from the speech itself. Mandela said, we trust that you will continue to stand by us as we tackle the challenge of building peace, prosperity, non-sexism, non-racialism, and democracy. The main thing in this speech is that these lines were um, mostly about unity, justice, and peace for all. The next quote is, the time for healing of wounds has now come. The moment to bridge the chastism that divide us has time, and that time is to build upon us. Mandela's inaugural address helped to promote the reconciliation agenda that was the hallmark of his presidency, and both blacks and whites were uplifted by his explicit commitment to bridging the divided um, communities together. He really wanted to get rid of the idea that whites and blacks are different. And the last quote is, we must act together as a united people for the national reconciliation of the um, national building for which a birth of a new world. Let there be justice for all, let there be peace for all. The words we and our are repeated many times throughout the speech, which is showing that there's no difference between white and black people. He hoped that South Africa would accept this message of the need to move away from the past and look to the future as a newly united people, and uh, that everyone should really work together to overcome the legacies of the past. And now, it's really important that these three um, points of his background, the period in which the speech was given, and the message that he portrayed, um, really come together to show you finally what this whole message really means. Now, Mandela's tone is inspirational, uplifting, and commanding. The inaugural address really helped to promote the reconciliation agenda that was to be the hallmark of his presidency. The treatment he endured growing up in the era which he came into power, and the speech itself is an empowering movement that united the nation to forever. 
And many people nowadays look back at that speech and the how South Africa had gone through such a hard time for so long and this man finally came into play and even being in jail for so long, he really took power and changed everything for the better and he really shaped the country into what it is today. Um, and that is the main point from Nelson Mandela's 1994 inauguration speech and how it really shaped the nation for the better.